Oh hey, I'm Zancastle, and welcome to Combo Card Clashers, the official release. Uh, oh, okay, so those don't carry over, but that's just a prologue anyway. Um, but as you can see, you know, it's the official release, so if you enjoy this without, you know, us getting too far into it, please like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Keep the growth train growing. Um, but as you can see, there are three additional classes as per, you know, additional to the prologue. You know, we have the generic warrior mage from the prologue, but then we also have a druid, a thief, and a alien. He's just an alien. So it's looking like we have to go through and beat the boss through each campaign before we unlock the next. So... Let's go through with the not the warrior, since that's what we have readily available to us. Um, and already, the map looks a little bit more crispy and clean. I'm gonna start there. Yep, we did this. Uh, how to play, travel the map and defeat the boss to go to the next world. There are three worlds. It's important to stop at helpful sites to increase your power. Uh, I don't see any new ones, so we'll go with the beginning fight here. There we go. Yep. Choose the prepared strike card and drag it into your combo grid. So this is basically the tutorial. Um, I'm just going to kind of go through this because, you know, we played the demo, we played the prologue, so I know what's going on. Um, yes. Can be physical, magical, or modifier. Attack damage is located here. Mana cost is located there. Modifier cards give effect to cards. Places before the attack card. So cleave. Cleave is pretty good in this situation. Cleave will give us AOE on our attacks. Uh, modifier cards need to be played before others to work. You can play many modifier cards to combine effects. So now... Reduce physical damage by 20%. Play next card twice. I think I'll add a poison here. So we'll have poison AoE. Slap. So at the beginning of every turn, you draw three cards, essentially, and then you put them into your combo grid. Uh, yeah, you're, you need mana, status effects. Yep. Uh, he has a unique one, strongest leader. And then we do have a rapid strike. Play the next card twice. So here's what we will do. Do all this, play the next attack twice. Slap, slap. And honestly, we only need one, so... Yep. Ooh, we got a rat. Nice. We leveled up. Uh, do more strength and agility here. Artifact. Uh, start each encounter with a decayed blade in your grid. Deal 50% damage, maybe. An upgrade can fix this blade. Eh, I mean, free attack isn't bad. Deal three times number of turns as damage to all enemies each turn. Okay. Uh, you can walk over mountains and forests. Wow. Three times the number of turns. So on turn one, deals three damage to everybody. Then six, then nine. Just keeps going up from there. I like this. All right, we can pick cards. Physical cards earn damage from strength. Magical cards earn damage from intelligence. So we have a mighty strike. Deal 10% more damage for each tile played before this tile in the queue. And rupture. I like rupture. It deals twice as much damage. I wanted to see my monster. Okay, just a just a rat, like I thought. Um, but essentially, rupture. If they have five or more debuffs, then let's see. I think a gear shop here. Let's see. Heal five health. Damage dealing debuffs can crit for two times damage. And then we just get the Void Spear, I think. And 
then 170 is not enough for anything else, but that's okay. Let's go with the special event here. In an ancient chamber among a pile of forgotten treasures, you find the legendary sword. It was known for its deadly edge, but also the vile curse it gives to its owner. So the curse is every time I attack, I deal a damage to myself, but it also has a chance to be chill damage and poison. Um, yeah, I think I'll just do it. We'll go with it. Yep, the bag. Use the inventory. We can equip inventory or gear. And then I'll go... I don't have enough to hire anybody, so we'll just go down. Let's see. I don't like that all these recruits... Is there not really not a recruit? So I guess we'll do this one. Yep, this is the best one. Because I'll get gold from killing here. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do... Start off with this. Do the AoE song. Ooh, you just did big damage. Okay. Yep. So I'll move this. Oh, I can't move that. Okay. It was like, yeah, you can move it. Nope, it's locked. Um... See, I think I'll do. We'll just do the next attack twice for now. Okay, nice. Got rid of one. This is your backpack move cards you don't want to play. Oh, okay, so that's what that is. I'll go with um, this. Damage resistance, okay. Ooh. Ugh. Then I'll do a rupture for the last. Got it. 330, and we got a monster. What did we get? Ooh. We got the slime. Do you heal? Nope. You do lightning strike though, which is not bad. I'll take this guy though. Light heal all. Like yeah, your intelligence isn't great, so you're not gonna have a lot of mana. But go for the event. Come across a small fountain with molten gold bubbling out of it. Inside the fountain, you see an object, but you can't tell what it is. What do you do? Take damage, get an upgraded card. Yep. Fire Blast. Uh, I mean, could be worse. We'll go down this way. Upgraded Fire Blast isn't terrible. Okay. Jeez. And then Burn is damage enemy. Your highest attribute is damage last two rounds. I think we'll just start off with that for now. Get that going. Oh nice, okay, so those both have heals. Which is very good. Oh, confused. Don't confuse me. Probably won't use Fireball as much because I don't have a lot of mana. Okay. Alright, we're doing pretty good. I think my. Okay, well, the monsters would have finished it. And you just had to get that hit. In. Okay. 230. 
Skill, upgrade, and buy cards. This is gear. Damage resistance, status resist resistance, and lifesteal. Yep, taking that. And then auto equip, okay. And... I don't think there's anything I super want to get rid of. Oh, I should try to actually upgrade that, though. Yeah, that's fine. Double attack is good. So, it just equals out. If I could get an actual lifesteal, steal, be pretty good. Okay, now we poison this blade. Surprised he doesn't have like, I mean he has some status resistance, but not like a ton. Ooh. Does that mean it costs me less or more mana to caught, cast? Weird. Just put that right there. He's still not dead. Can... You're just not gonna kill that, okay. Nope, you're gonna let me take free damage. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this then. Yeah, my physical lifesteal off of my armor is balancing out my weapon that I have. Nice, they all leveled up. And he upgraded his slash. If I do this, I can go into that. But do I really want to? Because then I can do an event. Sure. Ooh, what are you? A satyr? Yeah, physical resist and lock a random card on your grid for two turns. Okay. He just does a lot of cleave damage. Um, we'll do that. Oh, that's an attack. Okay. Okay. I don't really need cleave, but I will do this. And that was the card. Uh, I think I'll start poisoning here. Hey, we like those heals. Ooh, can you not do that? Do that, because he does have a lot of debuffs. I wish you healed me. Or that. Okay, whatever. We'll heal a little bit. I got armor and a card. Okay. Spinning kick damages and adds three combos. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do that. Sounds good. Put armor. I got a hat. Damage resist, status resist, and it's strength. I am stammering everywhere. Can I put that on? Good. Good, good, good. Oh. Okay. What is this again? Okay. Free. Oh. Biggins. Do you guys split? Yeah. So, cleave will be great here. Yeah. 
Are you guys like, no, slime splitters? Munch. Game harden. Oh, you would lock that one. Why is that one cursed? Hey, thank you. Okay. Smack. We'll use our new, uh, our new spinning kick. Four turns. Okay, so I have four turns to kill it. Um. We'll do that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're like retaining our health, basically. Yep, there it is. Okay. Um, I'll just leave that down there and then I'll do this. How about that? That way everybody's getting cleaved. You guys stop hitting me, please. stacking, but I think I'm going to go the bonus health. Ooh! Wisdom's not that great, but... I like that. And it has a chance to cast lesser heal. Yeah, I'll take that. Like, I don't... I mean... Wisdom just increases the strength of everybody else. Um... Sure. I'll keep it on you. Oh, well. Yeah, we'll upgrade. We'll try to upgrade our card. How about that? I need this first. Plays a random card in your grid. Upgrade a card. I can't just upgrade that, can I? No. Take that, and then I think I'll upgrade this. And maybe an upgrade can fix this blade. I don't know. Unless there's something that upgrades a card mid battle. That'd be really cool. Lizard main, master of illusion. Create an illusion of the caster and clears debuffs. I have magic resist. Um, I'll get the second card to play twice. But I really need that life steal that I just picked up. And I 
got that random heal. Yo, there's my upgraded vampirism. Oh my lord, 80. The prophetic vision is gonna cost me to lose mana here. Good. <laughs> Gracious. Another one. Uh, I mean, they both do the same thing. I think that's all I can do for the prophetic vision. For now. Until I get mana back. I'll put it in front of this. How about that? Give me all the health back. Put that here too. I think I kill them all here. I heal a lot though. No? Okay. Ooh, got the spicy evade. My rat boy leveled up. What is this? Just a common? Yeah, that can be on whoever. Select start location. Fully healed. Is that an elite? Yeah. Let's go for the elite. I'll do the event and then go back down. An amorphous floating orb. Choose a weapon or armor to throw it in. Choose this. Oh. Okay, that's pretty good. I don't like it replacing the one I have. Yeah, that's not bad. You can you can keep that. Um Alright, let's get to it. might be rough. What are these? Bound cultists. They apply poison and heal? So I'm gonna just have a lot of poison on me. When leader dies, all other enemies die. So I just have to kill one? Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so I just have to kill one of them. Okay, 
we're doing pretty decent here. This is just going off the assumption that I have to just kill one of them, which I think I do. I only have to kill one. I know that's going to do less damage, but I think I can kill it off of this. I just want to get as much health as I can. Yeah, there we go. Okay. The blob and the dude. I think you can only have five, right? That'll help. Seven hundred and eighty. There are a lot of bad guys here on this map. I'm just now realizing that. Um, it's gear. There's a. I think I kind of want to stay towards the bottom. I think. I don't think there's anybody here that I would want to recruit, really. No, not really. Okay, on death, increased damage of all allies. Unless all other enemies are dead. I think you're the one I have to kill first. damage. Okay. Get vampirism started first. I wonder how far you can upgrade a card. Thing that doesn't do damage, stupid. Okay, so the cleave damage gives me health too. That's good to know. Say I could really use a spicy healer right now. Evasion chance. We'll add one there. Go with that. And 
I think the stack is good. That would be really good for a boss, so I'm going to take it. Okay, and then, yeah, I got a lot of upgrades coming down that way. Do one, one more fight. These weird wisps. I like my gold, so I'm going to try to kill you first, I guess. steal all of my gold away. I better be able to get it back at least. This will apply a lot of poison too. some gold, but I don't know if that was the gold. Oh yeah, you're gonna do a lot of damage. Should have been doing that. takes a lot or deals a lot of damage hey yeah, you can attack him Crit chance damage resist, status resist, and strength, and more attack lifesteal. Which is, I mean, like, it's all right. Yeah. I don't need to recruit anybody. So we'll go here, upgrade some cards. Six percent chance to play an attack a second time for zero mana. I mean, could be good. Okay, so you can't upgrade them further than once. Okay. It's not bad. This one? final hit right there. Um, I could go for another rapid strike though. Having a second one of those in the pool doesn't hurt. Yeah, that already has attack lifesteal. 
uh, damage resist, status resist, two and five, five and eight. That's fine. 246, not enough. I could sell gear, but I'm not super pressed about it. Let's go into the second boss. Got some. Whoa, what are you? A dark phoenix. I'm guessing you come back upon death, turns into an egg. Okay. Hmm. You are big. We'll start off with a rapid strike. Ooh, that was a big miss. Swing and a miss. Start off by getting some kind of mana or health back. You're probably gonna hit me this time. Ooh, okay. Deliver 18 times the count of status effects as damage. Okay. This might be an easy boss. Now I probably just cursed it though. A lot of damage. I think that'll do more base damage than just rapid striking. 78. Split into flame spirits, huh? Phoenix will be respawned after four rounds. So now we do this. We go there. You're not coming back, dude. Sorry to say it, but I'm not letting you come back. You. Okay, got two more rounds. Go ahead. Go on, man. That only dealt 52? Weird. I thought that would have dealt more. Oh well. Now it doesn't matter who I hit, really. Shit! 25 hit combo, let's go. like this is the final. Got a gear shop, got a heal, got a skill shop, and then an elite. If I go there, I can't go anywhere. That's crazy. Do I do a fight first? Yeah, I think so. Let's kind of, let's see what kind of infernal necromancer. You were the boss in the uh, the beta, or the the demo. Start off, life steal. Launch.
I would like more built-in lifesteal, but, you know, it is what it is. You get what you get. That's the life of a roguelike, you know? I also want to kill that. He just has status for effect resistance, okay. That's what he was resisting. Okay, I really need the Necromancer to die though. Your next physical attack card cleaves, so I would rather do that. Dang, dude, can you stop hitting me? Like, why? that out of the way. 274. That's what we like to see. My rat might die. I'm not super happy about it. I want that guy dead first. Oh, I forgot it wasn't just attack. It was... Your next card. Oh well. That's a big deal. Okay. Get all the life back as much as we can. That weapon was okay. Wow, that's an artifact. It's not even lit. That's high. Uh, yeah, I like that a lot, actually. Okay, that's way higher. I like the damage. A little bit less. But it gives you a bunch of everything. So I want you to have this. There you go. Then I'll sell these. That's just zero. Okay. Thank you. Gave you a legendary sword for zero dollars. Ooh. Someone's a skeleton warrior. Doesn't seem bad. We got a second vampirism buff. First off, we'll do that. You heal five at the start of every turn. And honestly, I don't think that's bad. I'm gonna try to be as safe as I can. Like, it looks like the, uh, the artifacts are limited, but you do unlock more as you play. I'm not gonna get stuck in there. That's the last heal. 
Let's see. I should be able to... What is this? Snake Queen. Why do you have so much health? Uh, damage to the attacker. You don't act... You, you're not giving me a list of attacks that you do. It's weird. Um, you know what it is. Start with the vampirism. Please don't attack that. What? When did you get that? I wonder if that does that. Huh. We'll go with the cleave for now. Just heal so much damage now. But so does she. I'm hoping when this thing dies, I don't know what round it is, that her vampirism goes away. That's what I'm hoping happens. But we will see. Do a bunch of rapid strikes. So far, it's a no. What's your status resist? Thirty-five percent. Um, we'll just keep attacking you. We'll just keep attacking and healing. Vampirism is still there. Oh, you locked my vampirism. Let's go ahead and summon a dude. Okay, so I can only have four people, so that was a waste of skill. Okay. Stop locking my attacks. Just in case my whole combo doesn't kill you. fight. I'm gonna have to fight that regardless. 
gives a 10% chance to play a card twice, last two rounds. Repeats all the cards in this row except itself. That's insane. That's actually nuts. Um, burning a card costs gold, though. So I'll burn... I'll keep the skeleton, because, like, if someone dies, then I can just summon one up. What's the upgrade of this look like? Less mana, okay. Can only afford one. What's this? Less mana, okay. 30% more damage for each card space after this in a row. Wow. Um... Decision. Yeah, I'll go with the the defense. That was a very hard decision. Alright, let's do this. Elite summon or summon ally. Summons a random strong ally. So he just summons and heals, he doesn't actually attack, does he? Oh my god. Zombie bear. Okay. I did buy that, didn't I? I'm just setting up my defense right now, but... some of my mana back so I have that for later. This is gonna be a rough fight. This isn't even an elite. Like, just the normal attack, like, bad guys in this realm have been rough. take a lot of, like, initial damage. And so do I. I see myself losing a couple people here.
It's like, I have to kill him first, or else he's just gonna keep summoning people. start cleaving. I'll throw that down there. Since everybody's awake. Yeah, because the, the cleave also applies poison. I think I'll start working on somebody else. Yep, big, big, big. That was massive, actually. Jeez. There's the rat. Okay. I was about to say, I'm surprised the rat is still alive. Um, so how do I want to do this? I think I do this into this. Put this down here. That way everything is repeated. It'll get to there and it'll repeat everything. Unless I should have done that for last, I think. Thirty-seven hit combo. I healed a ton off of that one. Oh yeah. Alright, I think all that we have left is the boss. Leveled up, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we'll do some damage, and I want the agility because the dodging is very nice. Uses your current crit chance. I think that's pretty good. Ooh. Yeah, I think next is just the boss. Is that a hel that's a helmet? Okay, I'm a tanky boy now. I would guess that this is the final boss. That is my guess. Discards three random cards on death. Yeah, you die. Uh, in grid? You just destroy a card in my grid. That's not cool, dude. Not cool in the slightest. Okay. Sure. 
You're just called Gathering Darkness? Okay. Nice miss! Very nice. Uh, I actually don't have a lot of debuffs right now, so I'll go ahead and do that. Wish I did. They're just gonna keep healing up, too. Shoo! I guess I'll just do less damage. Which still is a lot of damage. Okay. Thank you, those can go away. Um, I'll do this. Pretty good. Yeah, you can attack my little minions. I've got a ton of mana. I think I'll just do that. And I heal back the damage that I'd take from his recurrence or whatever it's called. That's so extreme! Yeah, this dude really hasn't done a whole lot. Yeah, sure. Fill in the spaces. Blop. Oh yeah, I forgot I had that one. There. Yeah, I think he just dies here. Oh! Oh! What did you get rid of? Leave? Okay. That's an illusion. So you didn't tell me you turned it to something else. Just keep that down there for now. Like, I think I can honestly possibly do this just by myself. Like, if he killed my minions, I think I could. Doesn't mean I want to. I think I could. <laughs> okay, what next? Um, you have status resistance. I think right now I just need to damage. Yeah, upgrading that vampirism was the best thing that I could have done. I'm guessing I still have to kill them. Oh, they do. They go back into my deck. Okay, good. I don't want to choose anything. Sure. The echo cast is so good too, though. So I got my defense gone. try I've never seen like yeah so the the prologue literally you just do a level in the box of Acromancer oh they just keep doing it to each other okay 
Alright, so we're gonna move some stuff around. Okay, what do I want to double that? I think this. Well, I don't necessarily have anything. It doesn't matter. Attack. So much. There we go. Just feels so much damage. It's insane. Um Let's see if we can one shot this dude. It is very possible. Yo! Alright. And just random armor? It's okay. It's actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see if that was the last one. Yeah, we got it! That boss fight was actually really cool. 4,000 healing. Alright, I've unlocked the mage. Ascension level 1, yep. Okay. Scroll of protection when HP is less than 50%, take 10 less damage. Uh, duplicate each the de 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 debuff. Skill point. Allies heal 5% max HP, end of combat. That's actually a really good artifact. Infinite Slash. Deal 70% attack damage when taken. Adds a copy to your discard pile. Oh, so if they take it out, you get another one. Nice. On your first turn in combat, choose two cards and take 5% max HP as damage. So you can do two. Okay, that's not terrible. Yeah, we saw that one already. Another skill point. Replay your entire combo grid. That... That's insane, actually. Each damage dealing debuff gets plus two damage. It's okay for, you know, poison fire. Chain lightning. Alright. We did work. Alright, so... Next video, doing the mage. We're doing a full run through on the mage. And then hopefully, we can start unlocking some of these new characters. Um, but yeah, so that's it. We did a full run. Stay tuned for the rest of the cast list of this game. And if you enjoyed what you saw, please like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Keep the growth train growing. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. So have a good rest of your day. Bye.